Hi everyone, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm making shredded beef. This is supposed to be a Cuban recipe. I made it my own, and I'm going to show you how I made this wonderful recipe. So please join me in my kitchen to make shredded beef. I'm preparing about three pounds of beef. You can use the beef chalk eye roast if you prefer. Cut them in pieces and then place this beef in a deep pan. I sprinkle with just salt, but you can use pepper as well. Spread the beef in a way that makes only one layer in the bottom of the pan. And we're going to cover with water. Just enough water to cover the beef. Once it's boiling, lower the temperature to low or simmer, cover the pan, and let it cook until the beef is completely dry and it starts to develop a crust in the bottom. It will take about one and a half hours. Other ingredients for this recipe include one large onion, or you can use two medium onions cut in half and sliced, four tablespoons of dry sherry, one lemon zest, four tablespoons of orange juice, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and I probably will be using more, half teaspoon of ground cumin, and four minced garlic cloves. The first step we're going to take is mix the lemon zest with the orange juice and the lemon juice. Then with the vegetable oil, I'm going to be mixing the ground cumin and the garlic. Put these ingredients on the side until we have to use them. I check the beef that is boiling with the water every 15 or 20 minutes. If it's too dry, add more water. If it's not drying fast enough, then remove the lid and leave it on cover. After an hour and a half, my beef is completely dry and with a nice crust in the bottom. Remove the beef from the pan and place it on a parchment paper. Then place another parchment paper on top. And with a meat pounder, I pounded the beef until it was completely shredded and placed it in a bowl. In the same pan I used to cook the beef, I went to saute the onions, adding a little bit more oil because the pan was too dry. And I'm going to let the onions become translucent and golden yellow. Once they are nicely translucent, I'm going to add the sherry. And I'm going to let the sherry reduce to about half of the amount, which becomes like a syrup with the onion. Once the sherry feels like a syrup together with the onion, I got to retire the onion from the pan and place them in a bowl until I have to use them. Now that the pan is clear, I'm going to add the beef into the pan. If your beef did not become crusty, this is the time to create some crust in some of the beef. Not necessarily all of the beef should have crust. You should have a variation of texture, but some of them should have some crust and some crunchiness. If you feel the beef is too dry, add a little bit more oil to the beef. Push the beef to the sides and leave a hole in the center of the pan so you can cook the oil with the garlic and then start mixing it with the beef. 
add the onions and keep mixing. Once everything is mixed together, we can turn off the stove and this is cooking in high temperature. Turn off the stove and then add the orange juice with the lemon juice and zest. Mix everything well together and the smell is unbelievable. Well, the beef is ready. You can serve this beef over white rice, which is the traditional way, or make sandwiches. Enjoy it. Buen provecho. I hope you like this recipe. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.